Okie dokie. Well, morning everybody. Ah, uh, time once again for my pseudo cast. And this time around, <clears throat> this came up on my uh, YouTube recommendations uh, this morning. But I think uh, I think I came out like a few days ago. So this is called Conquest of the Irrational. Uh, for those that have seen my other casts, uh, this kind of music here was one of the first that I was playing when I first started doing these. So uh, I figured since this came up and this looks like a pretty interesting uh, thumbnail here, I even have it as my desktop background. It looks pretty cool. And this is one of those things like, what the hell is this? Whatever I whatever I ask myself that question, you just know it's going to be an awesome image. So and those and and also those that have seen my other cast know that uh, I find idyllic scenery like you know lakes, mountains, forests, etc. to be kind of boring, boring and cliche. I just, I mean, it, you know, I mean, I mean, that there's, there's that, you know, it just, the shit's everywhere, the, you know, the scenery is everywhere, you know, postcards, calendars, um, various websites and whatnot, I mean, all over the place. It just, it creates a lot of clockwork orange buildup and it gets to a point where I don't want to see the shit anymore. Now, if I was actually there, it'd be a totally different matter, you know, yeah, I mean, if you're actually, you know, if you're actually there by the lake, yeah, that's a pretty, that's a pretty cool place to be, but any, any, uh, anywhere else, you know, if, if, if I ain't there, I'm just not into it, but anyway, getting back to what I was originally saying, so it's why I, it's why I like images like this, ones where uh, I have no clue what the hell's going on, so, and uh, the music too, it's actually pretty cool, so, it's actually listenable. I mean, some of these other, some of these other dark ambient thingies, it just, it just goes in one ear and out the other. So, but anyway, let me uh, go ahead and get going on this. Oh, oh, wait, wait, oh, 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 let me stop. Um, well, I'm currently having a can of V8 Energy pomegranate blueberry flavor, but there's only like a little bit left in here. So, um, if I finish it off and if this cast is still going... Then I'll go ahead and crack open a can of V8. Uh, I'll crack open a can of peach mango flavored. So, but otherwise, here we go. And I am gonna have to sound test this. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and say close enough, at least for now. But otherwise, didn't really do a whole lot. Um, I did find out one thing, and this is, this is almost very light, this is almost going to be a life-changing moment for me. But um, in front of my apartment complex, it's right within walking distance. I mean, maybe, maybe a tenth of a mile. Like, it's, it's just across my apartment. Uh, it's just behind the garage, in my where I park my car, in my you know in my apartment complex. You know, got a set of garages right in front of our front door. And behind that garage, is a uh, Salvation Army thrift store. Uh, well, from what I read, and is in about a in about a year, but I'm thinking sooner. I'll explain why here in a moment. But uh, on paper, in about a year. That thrift store is going bye-bye. They're tearing it down the parking lot, and they're putting a, or they're expanding the, the, the storm water, the storm water pool, or the storm water reservoir, or whatever. I, I forget the official name for it, but it's a, it's a storm water, something, storm water reservoir. Like I said, I can't, I can't remember the actual name of it, but, and it looks like this is too loud. So that's really gonna suck cuz I'm gonna turn it down some more. And some more. Okay, but anyway. Cause that thrift store was a pretty integral part of my life here. You know, it was a good chunk of my uh, vinyl collection was gotten from there. 
Um, you know, some of, some of the, you know, a, lot, a good chunk of my wardrobe was also bought from there. And best of all, I didn't have to drive to the place. I just walked. You know, and all this because of a, or because of a fucking uh, stormwater reservoir. That's all they're, that's all they're putting there. Oh, and then um, they're, they're also, uh, they're also uprooting a KFC. Um, I used to go there like every week, but I haven't gone there in many, many years. So, but yeah, they're, they're tearing that place down too. And I think they're, uh, they're putting another stormwater reservoir there as well. Um, I don't know the exact reasoning. I think when I, when I read it, when I read it, I was too pissed off and just couldn't think straight. But, uh, if I can remember to, I'll probably look up, um, uh, I'll look up the reason why. But, uh, oh, also, and, um, I, I think they're also adding a few more lanes, adding a lane or two on the highway that's, like, right next to where I live. I think they're expanding that. So, apparently, the, apparently the, uh, the, the city planning management or whatever they're called, I think they really need to check out a YouTube channel called Not Just Bikes. You know, it's a, it's a channel about city planning. And, uh, I've actually, I've actually done a few casts with, um, with that as a, with that as a background. I've had, I think I actually did a commentary video or two as well on some of their videos. But yeah, I think, um, yeah, I think the city planning people here need to really watch that. Like, no, you don't. If you try, if you're trying to solve traffic problems, adding more lanes to a road is just putting out a fire with gasoline. It doesn't work. But apparently, I'm uh, apparently these guys didn't get the memo. And uh, I've never used it. But there's a there is also a walkway bridge. You know, it goes from uh, one side of the highway to the other. That's something we need a lot more of. We don't you know we don't need an expanded highway. But uh, in my neck of the woods, there's only one of these. I mean, but a few more of those would be a lot would be quite useful. Because as it is now, if I wanted to. If I had to drive to say the auto repair place to get my car fixed, I literally have to. I would literally have to take a scenic route to get there. Despite the fact that uh, the auto repair place is literally right across the street from me. I mean, I could sure use. I mean, I could sure use a. I could sure use a walkway bridge. You know, you could sure. Sure would be pretty useful there. So uh, yeah, that so. So need, needless to say, I'm kind of, I'm a little, little ticked off about it. And again, to some, this might seem like a first world problem, but again, this thrift store was, was part of my life. It was, it was one of the, you know, one of the greatest things about living where I live. I have a thrift store right within walking distance. You know, and sorry, I don't, sorry to sound like a broken record, but it, it was where I got a lot of my records was from this thrift store. Um, clothes. And, um, I mean, other various knickknacks and stuff. I mean, a good, a good chunk of what I own was gotten from this thrift store. But, now they're gonna take it away, just, just basically to dig a fucking pond. That's the word I was looking for. A stormwater pond. That, that's what they're replacing it with. But I guess, luckily, I guess. Um, last I read, uh, construction wasn't supposed to start until fall of next year. But um, when when walking home from the convenience store last night, they've already got um, these um, these big like they're five foot tall wooden pegs. I don't, for lack of a better word, I don't. But they're these pegs that um, and they all say uh, what's pond edge and they're um and they're uh 
they're placed at uh, at periodic lengths. Like it, it's kind of like bisecting this thrift store. All these uh all these five foot tall stakes. So they, they're staking out the border of where this uh where the pond edge is. You know, it it'd be very it'd be very much a it'd be very much a bitch thing to do. But I've I've entertained the thought of just walking out there, pulling up all those stakes and like burning them or hiding them someplace, or maybe uh, replanting them, maybe replanting them like right around where the uh, original stormwater pond is currently at. And that's another thing too. When I first got this apartment, um, there was a there was a road that went from not not directly from my my uh, complex parking lot but there was a there was a road that led straight into uh, I don't it led straight into the stroll that led into the uh, big stoplight intersection that went into the went into the highway um I kind of understand why they got rid of that road or no the original reason why they got rid of that road is they wanted to install a stormwater pond this is just a smaller one um Going back to what I, what I said at the start of this cast, um, what they're trying to do now is they want to expand on this pond. They want to make it bigger. And again, they're yanking they're yanking up the thrift store in the process. But uh, before then, some odd years before then, there was actually a road that led that um, it's yeah, I here. Let me try this. Okay, um, yeah, I'm not even going to bother trying to show it. I was going to pull up my paint program and, like, and, like, use that and, you know, show the directions and stuff, but it, it's probably going to be a hell of a lot easier to say it than show it. But, yeah, there's this, but, yeah, like I said, there was this road that led right past the thrift store straight to the, um, straight out into the street. You could um, you could bypass this uh, bullshit stoplight. That um, what's the word? That'll it'll skip me. It'll skip me half the time. There's been times I've had I've actually had to run the red light because uh, the the light would actually skip me and it would flash green for the um, for the other road. So like I said, I had I've had to run the I've had to run red lights. Or I've had to run the, the red light because of it. So. But yeah, they they got rid of it. But they got rid of this little side street just so they could put the stormwater pond there. But on the other hand, um, that was actually a blessing in disguise because um, it was it was also a pretty dangerous side street to take. Because of um, if you weren't paying attention, you could easily have gotten T-boned by an oncoming traffic. Because uh, now that I think about it, I think there was a, yeah, there was a big tree there, a big tree or two, that kind of obstructed the view of oncoming traffic. So that there, it there was actually a hidden benefit of getting rid of that road because it really was unsafe, but. Aside from that, I mean, the the real reason they did it again was to build a stormwater pond there. So, but uh, this time around, I don't even see why they even need a bigger pond. I mean, we're I mean, we're not exactly the fucking Amazon, you know. It's not gonna we don't get torrential downpours every hour or anything like that. Now, unless unless they're gonna say uh. It's their way of addressing climate change or something like that. I mean, I I guess that could be a decent reason, but again, I had a I'd have to look I'd have to really look into it. So, but um, in case I didn't say it earlier, one um, they uh, but all the houses and the apartment complexes, including mine are not going to be affected by this change. They're being left alone. All they're going to do 
is they're gonna they're gonna uproot the thrift store and the KFC that that I I used to eat at, but I have it in like years. So, you know, but still, I it seems like a, a stormwater pond has got to be one of the flimsiest of reasons. I can't help but think there's like an ulterior motive there. too and yeah now that I think about it back in the and back in the 90s for the brief periods of time that I, I would visit my cousin on the weekends see he used see I'm um, uh, I'm basically living now where um where one of my cousins used to live many years ago like back like back in the 90s um the thrift store used to be a grocery store but I guess it went out of business or whatever and then it got replaced by a Salvation Army thrift store. So. But to me, that's a more, that's a more legit reason to, you know, to, to pull up, you know, to pull up your stakes or pull, or to uproot and go. I'm trying to find the right word for it, but. You know, and not just to, not just to build a damn reservoir. You know, because this, th again, this thrift store, it's been up for at least, I, I want to say it's been up at least 15 years. I've lived in my apartment for 12 years. So, and, um, I used to live, uh, I used to live at, a uh, live like 15 miles away from my job. And during that time, that thrift store was still there. So, yeah. Oh, and, uh, yeah, I'll just go ahead and, I'll go ahead and save my, uh, V8 energy for tomorrow. Yeah, because I really don't have much left. I'm at a point now where I'm just rambling, so. Oh, and, um, I have also, and, um, I have been playing a lot of Bloons Tower Defense 6 lately. So, it seems I'm, it seems I'm in that phase now. I, it seems I often do things in phases. I'll get a real itching to play a game, and I'll just end up playing the living hell out of it for a, for a while, and then after a while, I'll get tired of it and go play something else. Like like uh, previously, it was um, it was Slay the Spire, even though I still play that, or I still stream it. Before then, it was Dragon Ball Fighters. But um, I think at some point I called an audible. And decide to play uh, Slay the Spire instead. Now you know you, you, you get what I mean. But I'm still. But it seems I'm still in the Slay the Spire phase, though. Haven't had much desire to quit that game. So. But we'll we'll see. I still got a. Uh, I still have Dragon Ball Fighters on my sights, and I just remembered there's a there's a new patch update, and from what I understand of it, it's. It's practically a whole brand new game now, so I, I might I'm I might actually check that out soon. Then, I mean, usually usually patches, they're just basically tweaks. You know, just like a like a stat adjustment or a little quality of life adjustment here, and you know, and maybe a a character nerf there. You know, that kind of thing, minor stuff. But again. From from what I understand of this one, it it seems like it's a major overhaul of the game. Like 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 I said, it might be it sounds like it's gonna be a brand new game like Dragon Ball Fighters Two or something. So yeah, I might end up have I might end up checking that out eventually. So so yeah, I guess um I guess someday I might have to. I might have to kick my uh, thrift store shopping into overdrive here. Got to get what I can while the getting is good. Because, like I said, in, in, at least on paper, in about a year from now, that place is going bye-bye. And that was something else. That was something else I just I just remembered, too. There used to be a Pizza Hut. Um, Again, across, right across the street from where I live. It's why I think, it's why I think they should have built a... A walkway bridge 
rather than just expanding the highway. But anyway, there is a Pizza Hut there. Um, we've had a fair, I've had a fair amount of moments there, or I've had a fair amount of good moments there. We've had a, I know we've had at least one family reunion there. Um, I was, there's uh, a lot of the people, you know, when I was, uh, when I was going there every week, you know, I was seeing a lot of the same faces and stuff. And I'm seeing from time to time, ever since they shut down. You know, I'm trying to think. Why did they? No, uh, I'm trying to, th I think Pizza Hut might have gone out of business. Or it actually did relocate, but it relocated to a damn strip mall. But yeah, like like I said, I've I've had a lot of good moments there. Um, I think um, I've uh, me and me and some of my relatives, we've had, you know we've all met up and ate there and stuff. Um, I think we have that I can recall. We've had at least one family reunion there too. But they went ahead and shut it down and uh, got replaced by a by an ice cream store, like some some obscure name. You know, not a Brahms or a Culver's or anything. It's, I don't know. Billy Bob's ice cream or something. I don't know. I just, I don't give a shit anymore. So. But yeah, some of these, um. Some of the people that have worked there. Worked there for many years. Or I, let me rephrase that. They've worked there for a long time. At least as long as I've been going over there. But after, after a while when the place started shutting down. I hadn't seen them since. Except. You know, every so often here and there, like at Walmart or something, where I work. So. Okay, but anyway, um, I pretty much said all the things I wanted to say, so I'll just go ahead and shut it down here. Uh, but, but hey, thanks for, uh, thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow morning. So, but until then. Thanks again for dropping by, everybody, and see you all next time. Take care.